Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Thursday, May 26th, and thankfully, I thank you all for your, all your prayers. My voice is starting to recover. I now smell sound like a guy going through puberty, but it's much stronger than it was yesterday, so thank you for your prayers. I have been to the doctor, and I have gotten some medicine, and that's helped, too. So um, two days ago, we started talking about Revelation 21 and that new Jerusalem and what it will look like when Christ is setting up his earthly kingdom after he's returned, after he's expelled Satan from the earth and thrown him into the abyss. What is that going to be like? It's going to be that perfect, perfect place to live. And we did verses one through four. So today we'll start on verse five. Let's pray. God, as we listen to this message, I ask that you continue to show us more about who you are, more about your plan of redemption, and the things that we have to look forward to. In addition to that, let us see those glimpses of your kingdom in our current time and the things that are happening now. Lord, we praise you and thank you because it's only through you that we are a part of this kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. So in verse 5, it says, He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. He said, write, these, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Here's the big takeaway from that verse. Everything is new. It is not going to be the way it was. It is an entirely new creation happening here. Just like it says, I believe it's in... Um, I can't remember what, what, what book it's in, but it says the old has gone and the new is here. We became that new creation. The earth is going to be this new creation and it's going, everything is going to be different. He said to me, it is done. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Now, there's a lot there. I could do an entire message on that verse right there alone. But first of all, why does it say Alpha and Omega? This is written in Greek. In the Greek alphabet, the very first letter is Alpha. The very last letter is Omega. He is the very first letter. He is the very end of the letter. He is the Word become flesh. That is what he's proclaiming. He's saying, I have come back. Here I am. I'm ready to set up my kingdom. And then on top of that, our needs are met without cost. That there, there isn't going to be a need for that money exchange. We're going to have that spring of the water of life. That, that living water is going to be available to us at no cost and constantly flowing. Sometimes Satan gets in the way and he interrupts our connection with the Holy Spirit. That's been happening to me a lot lately. I've been very, very distracted. And um, that is no longer going to be an issue. It's going to be completely removed. You got a straight stream of that living water coming to you without interruption, without distraction, without your humanity getting in the way, without Satan getting in the way. It is completely flowing. Those who are victorious will inherit this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. How do you become victorious? You faithfully follow who Jesus is. We talked about that last week. I believe it was Revelation 12, 7. We need to be faithfully following him. Let him be the Lord of your life. Let him be in charge of everything. But the cowardly, these are the people who didn't step up. The unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. So either you're on his team or you're not on his team at this point. And if you're not on his team, you don't get to enjoy this entire new, entirely new creation with this free gift of the spring of life flowing through you. If you're not on that team, you're going into the fiery pit of burning sulfur. You want to be on that team 
And let me tell you, your life is not peaches and cream. It doesn't go smooth. You, it's not that you won't have problems when you enter into a relationship with Christ. But that peace, that joy, and that hope, it's just such a beautiful thing to know that you belong to him. To have that guidance of the still small voice of the Holy Spirit is such a beautiful place to be. If you click on the little carrot next to the title on the YouTube video, you will see the description. It will give you my website. It will give you my email. If you need more information, if you want to know how to enter into this relationship with Christ, please shoot me an email. I will be more than happy to help you through that. Have a wonderful day. Oh, I'm sorry. As you go into your prayer closet today, praise him for the fact that this new kingdom is coming and pray with anguish for the people that are among the unbelieving that would be sent into that fiery lake of burning sulfur because it's not too late right now. Christ has not come back. They can still make that decision. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.